For today's coil basket, I will be using this frizz yarn in the color taupe. And I am actually going to use black macrame cord, but it is three millimeters. It is braided. It is also from Mad for Macrame. I will link both of these in the description box below. Actually, everything I'm using today will be in the description box below. And if there is a discount that I can offer you, I will also put that in the box. You will also need a darning needle and some scissors. And I will be using the 3 8 inch cotton filler cord. I already cut mine. I decided to actually cut it today. Normally, I just keep making my basket, but I did cut it to about 12 feet. Okay, I am going to start off with the taupe color actually. And so I'm going to place one end through the needle and then the other end, just make sure there are no knots in it. You're going to lay it flat over the filler cord like this, just a few inches. And then you're gonna leave this part all open and simply begin to wrap. This is a very easy process, especially when you're using this frizz ribbon. It just truly is like very, very quick and easy to work with. You see how fast I'm already going. Everything's nice and covered. And then I'm going to go like this and continue wrapping. Okay, once it looks like this, you can't see the hole, but there's one right here. We will simply turn it, take the end with the needle, and just push it through, pull. And then continue to wrap. So I will just do probably like three or four. Okay. Okay, we're going to wrap it again. Wrap four more times, put it back in the center. And you can't really see much of what I'm doing, but that is okay. You will see it when I switch to the braided cord. And you can also go to any of my other videos and see this process as well. Okay, last time going through the center. And I will continue to wrap. And now you can't see it, but we're right here. So we're basically just always right underneath the row, right below. So using this material is making it go faster. Using the three millimeter braided cord is going to make it go slower because it is so much thinner, but it is okay. It's going to look so good together. You can't even really see the double wraps that I have happening here. I think there's one right here and right here. So I will put this right in between them, right here. And I think you can tell because of this part of it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's there. Actually, I'm going to grab a new piece to show you how to add the next piece of this. So let me just place this here and cut another piece. Okay, same thing. Make sure there are no knots. And I did not cut this really long because I'm going to add the black soon. So 
you are just going to wrap it, leave it at either the side or the bottom. Now place the new piece, the tail, right over the opposite side. So you can have one on the top, one on the bottom, one on this side, one on that side. It doesn't matter as long as both of them are like this. And just start wrapping. So I only did it twice because it's time for me to do my double wrap really quick. And that is really it. You just continue to wrap. So now I will continue doing the same exact process, wrapping every three or four. But I can tell it's going directly over that. You might not be able to see it in the video, but I can see that it's directly over the previous row. So I'm actually going to bring it over one more so that now I can go through this space here. So I'm going to finish this up real quick and then we'll get started on the black. Okay, and now to add the black, it's the same process as when you need to add a new piece of cord, okay? So all you need to do is just hold that tail end there, get your new piece, where did my tail go? The new piece, place it right over it, and then continue wrapping. Okay, so I just went over a few. Now I will go ahead and find my spot and pull it through. And now you are going to see that double wrap a lot more. So we're going to make sure that it looks nice and even when we're doing it. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap it again. I still have those two tail ends that I'm holding down. That was three. I'm going to do one more. So here's four. Then go ahead and push it through. Okay, so I'm going to continue for this entire round and then I will be right back. Okay, I just completed that round and I am going to add another round with the frizz. So again, the same way that we've been doing this, just put the two tails together like this and begin to wrap. So now I will make sure that every wrap that I do my double wrap will go right in between these two black ones. So I will put my first one here. So it goes right in between. And I actually went far with this so it didn't go here, but that's okay. So I'm going to pull this through. Sometimes this fabric has like a big chunk like this. You can cut it if you want, but I'm fine with it. You just keep pulling and it works out just fine. So now I'm going to continue wrapping, which will probably only be like two or three wraps. So that was two and it looks like I'll be in the right spot again. So now I'm going to go here. So yeah, I'm gonna say this one's probably every two wraps for mine. Yours might be a little different, which is totally fine. So on my black round, I actually did every single one was every four wraps. And then this one will probably be every two wraps. So you just do whatever it will take to get you through yours so that it matches up to go right in between. Okay, so I'm going to do this for the entire round. Okay, so I finished the round and actually what I'm going to do is for this one, since I did not start here like I wanted to, I will end up wrapping it through this one instead of this. And then you'll see what I mean. It makes it just it just like completes the look so that now it's even with just the black peeking through just a little bit so I'm switching back to black now and I am going to start the sides to start the side I already tucked the tail end here and then now I'm going to add in the black same way go ahead and wrap it a few times I just did three and then I will go ahead and push it through, pull, but now instead of leaving it flat, I'm just going to lift this up a little bit and bring it towards me. 
So the shape of your basket will depend on what you do with this filler cord at this point. So if you bring it completely over the previous round, it will go straight up. If you leave it just at a slight angle, it'll go out a little bit. So I'm going to actually leave this first round out at a little bit of an angle. So I have it lifted just a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell, but it is lifted a little bit. And then I'm going to continue my double wrap, same way that we've been doing, but just making sure that every time I do the double wrap, I bring this towards me just at a slight angle. So I will go ahead and complete this round and then show you what it looks like. And this round is done. Okay, let's see. It's kind of hard to tell how many rounds I have done because I can't see the lines. But I think I have, just by feeling it, I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I think this was round six. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference, honestly, because um, you can make yours however you want. You can go... You could do your base larger than this, so I believe I had five at my base, and then round six is where I'm starting my sides. And you can do, you know, five rounds, you can do 10 rounds, 15, whatever you want. Obviously, the larger the base, the larger your basket will be. So I am going to just continue doing this black in the same way that I've been doing it. I will do a few more rounds, and I think I'm going to bring it towards me just a little bit more so that the sides go up a little straighter like that. So I'm not going to do anything different. I'm just going to continue coiling this exact same way. There's two things I want to point out actually. So the first one being, you don't have to count the exact numbers in between. So this, this row right here, the first black row that I just did, there was four in between each one. Now it doesn't line up the exact same way to be four each time. So what I'm doing is just going by eye and doesn't even matter. You don't have to count. If you want, this is what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm just going all the way until I get to the middle of the two double wraps at the previous row. So right now I'm just going to wrap, keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping until I get here and then go right there. And that's just so that these little double wraps look more consistent. And as another thing I wanted to point out, so let me just show you the back. So I'm trying to make this part nice and even. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's black on camera. It's kind of hard to see. But, um, but they look pretty even when you do it this way. So you can do it where you just count the exact same number every single time, you can. It's not that it's wrong, but if you want these to be you know, spaced out nice and even, just do it by eye to the previous round. And another thing is if you're going to use black with this white filler cord, you're going to wanna make sure that you are wrapping this nice and tight so when you do the double wrap, that first one, just kind of bring it back to the right to tug it like this to fill in that space in the back and also well actually in the front too because you really just want to make sure it's nice and tight against it so the white isn't peeking through which it might just a little bit it is here and there but barely you really well you probably can't even see that well maybe you can and I could probably just use my needle to just push these over but I just wanted to let you know that again if you're using a dark color with this white try to make it as close as possible to fill in any of that white space. Okay, as I come to an end with this round, I have decided for the next round, I am actually going to do where I go over. So you're gonna do the double wrap. Sorry, it might be hard to see with the black. But then instead of just wrapping like I've been, I will bring it back to the front, get my needle, slip it right underneath here, pull and then once it's in the back you just bring it back around and then you start to wrap again so I don't know if you can see there's like this little extra wrap right here that we're doing and if you can't see it I will actually link my other video where I show how to do this process in a different color so you can see it better but basically you're just doing the same thing that you've been doing as far as your wrapping. So let me just bring it back to the next wrap, show you it again. Okay, right here looks good to me. So I will do my regular double wrap where I push it from the back, pull it in. Do that double wrap, but then bring it from the back Pull it forward. Once you have it crossed over like that, 
get your needle go back underneath from inside to the outside pull and then just bring it back like you're getting ready to wrap again and pull it in and then it creates those little notches right there those extra little wraps okay so I'm going to do this for the whole entire next round okay so I have this much left but I think I'm going to just wrap around just this remaining piece to make a design in the front but I also wanted to point out that I, I wanted to do that extra wrap on the top row because it really helps from showing any space in between because you well I don't know if you can see on camera but here and there on the side you can see like a tiny bit of white poking through but on this top row you can't see any so that's another reason why I did that design on top so now all I'm going to do is just do a single wrap all around this entire thing and then I am going to make some kind of design I was thinking of possibly doing like an infinity sign um, so that it goes like this so imagine something like that or maybe it kind of looks like a bow and then maybe I will put this through on the inside I'm not really sure yet so I'll figure that part out when I'm done wrapping this I normally just start wrapping and then just do whatever comes to mind so I am going to literally just single wrap this the rest of the way so just wrap 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 there's no double wrap so I'm just gonna single wrap this and then I will be right back okay actually I got this far and I decided I want to go in like this just a little bit when you're making these some people like to follow the exact instructions to what they see which is totally fine but a lot of times when I'm working like I said I like to just do it and then see where it takes me so as I was wrapping all of a sudden I was like you know what I really want it to go right here inside because I like the way that that looks so I am going to so I just did a single wrap like that and now I am going to just wrap it one more time so it comes to the outside actually I'm going to go through this this one right here right here and I'm going to stick this through here pull okay then what I need to do is from the outside now now from the outside I need to go back under here so that it goes here on the inside and sometimes when it's really long it gets caught on each other and it gets a knot which is easy to fix okay so now let me turn this around and see what it looks like on the inside okay so it is there wrapped which is good that's exactly how I want it but now I'm going to have to go like this and start single wrapping again so I need to get in really tight next to that to make sure that there's no white showing so it's in place it's locked into place and I'm going to single wrap sorry I know it goes out of the camera's view when I pull it up but I'm just gonna keep pushing it next to each other and I'm going to single wrap again so I'm going to single wrap a little bit more and then I will show you what I do next. Okay, and now this is where I'm at. So I did another few inches here and I'm thinking I'm going to make sure you hold it nice and tight in place. And now I was thinking of connecting it here. Okay, so to do that, I need to go through this piece here Okay, now from the inside I need to go back out so I don't know if you can see but it's right here so basically you'll know based off of your basket make sure that you go above and then below just so that you're in the space that you can wrap ok 
Okay, so now I need to continue. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and close together and I'm going to continue to single wrap a little bit more. Okay, so now I did all of this and I'm going to bring it up here because I like the way that this looks. So now I'm going to go to the one right below. So there it is right there. to make sure that it's covering, which it is, and then bring it back, and I'm going to do it again. Okay, so that's there, and then I have a little bit left, so I think I might maybe bring it back here. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to continue wrapping this and then decide. Okay, so I actually just wrapped it just a little bit more. So this was where I did the double wrap and I have it here and I wanna end it here because I, I like it. I like right where it's at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a clip, hold this into place real quick and then I need to cut my filler cord at an angle. this to see if any pieces want to fall out. Let me trim this one. Okay. All right. So now I'm just literally going to double wrap just to close this. So let's see. Bringing it to the inside. Okay. I have it right here in place. Now I need to go through let's see I think this is like the third one down let's see there's one two three third one down and then just pull it through okay scoot it over a little bit and then now I'm just going to continue wrapping just like that so this part is always the most awkward to do on camera because I have to really move this around a lot, but so basically I'm just going to keep going in and out, like over. So I'm gonna go back here, bring it in. And then just make sure you keep scooting it over. And then I'm just going to keep wrapping but I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do this part off camera, but all I'm going to do is just keep wrapping around, wrapping around, wrapping around this one spot until it's all covered. So I will show you in just a second what it looks like. So I wrapped it a bunch of times going around just until everything was covered. And then I got my needle and I placed it underneath one of the little loops. This way I can make a little knot. So, now all I got to do is pull and there's a knot there and you won't be able to really see it because it's going to be tucked underneath that. So now I can just trim this off and that is it. And again, you don't have to do it this way. You can do it any way you want. I have a whole playlist of videos showing you different ways to end it. I just did it like this just because that's what came to mind but you can choose to do it all flat. You can make a big loop, you can make a handle, whatever you want, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.